everyone! Welcome Hello. to our channel! We are here to show you all the amazing stuff. Yeah. Right. So, without right. further ado, further ado, we're yeah. gonna start. I think with the uh, with, with the freebies. Yeah, with the stuff. Well, some of it's not really for free. It's things that are kind of included in your package. So, um, and things you get free with meals, and things like cast members give you. You get lots of free stuff if you're there celebrating. We were actually there for our third anniversary. So not wedding, just not wedding, just anniversary. boyfriend and girlfriend. Which was sad because yeah, everyone kept on asking us like, where's that ring at? And yeah. it's like, yeah, sorry, it doesn't exist. <laughs> Not yet. So I had this I'm celebrating badge. I want to say pin. I think uh, what a lot of cast members do is they um, will write, I'm celebrating, you know, X, Y, Z, like, I don't know, my daughter's birthday. I also got a first visit badge. First visit badge. <laughs> this gives you lots and lots of cake at a few different restaurants that we went to. We were very like, lucky. Mickey was very, very generous. Yeah, we were us. walking down, uh, we were in Hollywood Studios, just walking down the road and then a couple of people who were in one of the shops, I can't remember which shop it was. It was um, a bakery. There was a sweet shop there and then one of the cast members grabbed it and said, like, oh, you're celebrating your anniversary. And then they just gave us both a Mr. and Mrs. Candy apple. Lots of desserts <laughs> and restaurants and... People singing to us. People singing, yeah. In Via Napoli out. and in Tapanido. Tapanido was the it was lovely. Via Napoli was really nice as well. I think by that point in the holiday, we'd eaten so much that like a small pizza to share, we were like really full. Yeah. It's just a stupid <laughs> amount of food, but some really, really good food. What do you want to talk about next? I hope we talk about these. Yes. So, so, when we went to Cinderella's Royal Table, just there. or on my one, you get an amazing. CRT there. Um, so basically what Cinderella's royal table is, is a it's character a dinner with... Character um, dining experience. Yes, inside saying? the Walt Disney World Castle, which is pretty special. Yes, Cinderella Castle. Not yeah. Cinderella's Castle, Cinderella Castle, which I find interesting. She doesn't own it, she just hangs out there. But she does have her own suite in there. But you can you only stay in the suite food, yeah. if you win a competition. You can't even like yeah. pay. They're not the best character dining, actually. Well, and exactly. not the best food that we had, but the overall experience of actually being That's in the amazing. castle was really great, and it was our first we're night right. as we're well. Right. If you're a bloke, you get a sword. Because you're a prince, I think you're meant to and be. Prince you're a knight, perhaps. I'm a knight. I thought I would be a uh, Cinderella's prince charming. That seems more like a Prince Philip kind of thing. You know what yeah, I, mean? I know what you mean, but I suppose what would they actually uh, give Cinderella's prince? I don't know, a mouse? Prince Charming. I don't know. A shoe? He's always after shoes, that guy. I know. They'd be a bit worried if I was his missus. Um, Unfortunately, it doesn't light up. That um, which I sad. thought it might. Um, yeah. And you also get a wishing star! A wishing star! Which, um, I feel like you're in Pinocchio. Yeah. And we got a free bookmark. You from do it. get a free bookmark. Um, basically, Enchanted Tales of Belle is an attraction in Fantasyland in Magic Kingdom, um, and it's part of the um, new newest uh, renovation in Fantasyland. So there's you know Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. There's um, be our guest the, restaurant. Be our guest restaurant. Be our guest is just. I'm a huge Beauty and the Beast fan. I'm really excited to do Enchanted Tales of Belle, and I was very excited when I did get my bookmark. And it's got Belle's little signature yeah. at the bottom. I don't particularly like Belle's signature. It's a bit squiggly. Isn't it's it? It's very, very squiggly. Yeah. For people to see. When we were there, we went and we did the Keys to the Kingdom tour, which was very exciting. Um, so that was sort of like a five-hour walking tour around all of Disney, all of all of the Magical Kingdom. Sorry. Yes. The Magic Kingdom. The Magical Kingdom. When you go backstage, we saw all the floats and everything. We see the backstage of all the rides. They tell you the naughty things that you shouldn't really know. Yeah. So you have to keep under your hat. Yeah. Like, no photos allowed kind of stuff. And what was really cool... We went underground. We, yeah, we went into the Magic Kingdom tunnel, which was really cool. I'm sure if you're a cast member, it's the most boring thing ever. But we found it really exciting. Yeah. And, and we met a couple of the princesses down there doing their sort of day-to-day -day stuff. Yeah. So, sort of kind things. of half ready princesses, wigs on, but normal clothes on. Um, oh, you're not allowed to say that. But it was, it was really cool. But anyway, when you go there, you get um, your name badge, so they make sure that you're either not stealing the tour or that you don't get lost from the tour, mm -hmm. whichever. So, this is my name badge, it's got my name on it there. Okay. And that is yours, together. La la la. When you get your lunch, which is included in the package, I should think so, because I do remember it being quite expensive. Sit down, your, your lunch is already there for you, and you get your little key to the kingdom yeah. there. 
Yeah. We actually did Club Villa, which was at Hollywood Studios. And when you're in there, it's basically a free course buffet sort of thing. You've got a starter buffet, a main buffet, and then a dessert buffet. Mm -hmm. um, and it's all themed around the villains, four main villains. Um, Cruella de Vil, the Queen of Hearts, Maleficent, and the Evil Queen. Yeah. It's essentially like they're only there for like the meet and greet sort of thing, and so yeah. they can have cocktails based on them. Um, <laughs> but that was great and fun. And then you have Dr. Facilier, who's yeah. sort of supposed to be the host, but he didn't do much singing. It was more meant to be who his little server guy for the night was. Who was a fantastic singer. Who was an amazing singer. singer. He did all the songs because Dr. Facilier is from New Orleans, and in New Orleans they got the Mardi Gras. He gives out the Mardi Gras beads, which are these. Which we're so, now wearing. So, yeah. They're just like little plastic beads. Yeah, they were quite um, nice. I quite enjoyed them. Yeah. I quite enjoyed uh, having them on. Next. Uh, this is in Adventureland. So while you're yep. there, um, they have a little show with Captain Jack Sparrow. Basically just pull some kids out of the audience. It's a pirate tutorial sort of thing. <laughs> so anyway, basically at the end of the show, the children that um, took, take, have taken part in the pirate tutorial get given a scroll. And at the end, they kind of chuck them out to the audience. And I'm not even joking. The first time we there saw it. There was blood it, just to get Well, I don't know these. about that. But there was a, a kind of mini riot to there get these. Yeah. And people didn't even know what they were. The so what we scrolls. did really cleverly was went back later, watched the end of the show, and they got one oh, of yeah, these yeah. each. As soon as it went, I was like, Marianne, go, go, go. Push the children I had out to, like, way. step over the children to get right, it. Let's open it anyway. So if you take this off... Um, I'll unravel it, which here it is. I feel like blood, sweat and tears went in to get yeah. this, so. Out of everything that we've got here that you'll see in this haul, this was the hardest to get and <laughs> probably like our most cherished. Right, we were there at Halloween. Well, kind of, I suppose it was still quite far away from Halloween. We were there from... The 2nd of September, September until onwards, the 17th and, of September. Okay. And Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween. Party had started. We went there on the 13th, I believe. Um, yes, we did. For our actual anniversary. Which was very exciting. Which is a great way to spend an anniversary. <laughs> With the, yeah, getting rained on in your costume. Yeah, um, not so good. But the rest of it... But the rest was good. Yeah. They still managed to put it on the parade. So once you go in there, you scan your wristband, they see you, they give you a bag, which is... Yay. We got still nice, but loads of candy. Yeah, we didn't actually do that much trick-or-treating. We were, we were quite lucky. Um, we... We were one of the last people to be at the Stitch Trick or Treat stop. In as, Tomorrowland, yeah. And as we were leaving, they sort of called off. It was like, Bell Gaston! Because we were dressed as we were Bell Gaston. Gaston. Yeah. And um, <laughs> they literally, because we were the last people in there, they just got the barrel and emptied it into our bags. They just chucked. Yeah. We sort of got, so, we got the scrape of the barrel, so to speak. But there was a lot in there, so... These were sort of overflown by the end, even though it was maybe like our third trick or treat stuff. So we yeah. were, so we did well, and uh, yeah, we saved a lot. We of got it. loads of stuff. It was our second night there. We went inside. Ah, oh, a happy anniversary card from Mickey and Minnie. Ah, oh, and it was so beautiful. Yeah. So it's and, signed by them. Yeah, and then we saw we had a message waiting for us on the answer machine. Hey guys, ha ha. I heard that someone's celebrating an anniversary! Yay! And then Mickey and Minnie sang happy anniversary to us in um, to the tune of happy birthday. And yeah, I was screaming, it was, it was so cool, it was so yeah, good. Yeah, so Mickey and Minnie um, sang And things like that, they're just such a nice touch. Right. When you are there, when you get to the resort, they sort of uh, push you to buy this refillable mug. And the way it works is that for the whole time that you're there, you can just keep, I think it was like $18? $17.99 plus there, tax. So they are refillable mugs and there's, uh, every resort they have these little refill stations mm -hmm. and it's got a chip underneath. So to use the Coke machines or anything like that, you need one of these cups and yeah. you, you put it on the tray and then you press it and it fills it up. Um, they only have them at the resorts. Nice cut, but I say it's cheap quality. It leaks quite a lot. It and did then leak a lot. It leaked yeah. a lot. You got sort of bags ended up being sticky and smelly. The paints all rubbed off. The top started to break and to crack. So and not all the that best stuff. cut, really. Um, but the point is that it's refillable, and if you're spending a lot of time at the hotel and or at other hotels or at other hotels, because yeah. we saw a couple of others. But whoops. Um, so. You can get your money's worth, but you have to drink a lot of coke, but I don't even like that he drinks that much, to yeah. be honest. I'm a tea drinker, which we'll move on to later. Yeah. So, Chip. Very excited about Chip. Yes. Um, probably not going to actually drink from him, because, as you can see, he's 
white and will probably stain and I'm that pretentious person that's not going to get a, a mug and not drink from it um, but it's absolutely beautiful like really well made and mm -hmm. didn't chip anymore on the plane which I was very happy about but yeah. it does actually have a fake chip he has, on a, him he has there, a chip on chip which is lovely and he's beautifully beautiful. painted lovely expression um, and he's going to yeah, probably for display purposes he was uh, $21.99 mm. again without tax um, but worth every penny. I'm really pleased with him. He's lovely. LeFou's Brew Cup! Yay! I so, Gaston's Tankard. Yes. Is beautiful light. You have Gaston on that side and then LeFou on the other side. Beautiful. And I got Belle with um, lots of jewels and Mickey heads around the bottom, or oh, around the top on the bottom. Oh yeah, I never saw them before. Those are quite cool. Um, and a rose. Um, and these um, you get free with um, a LeFou's brew. Um, you kind of get them free, it's um, either one price without or one price with. Yes, and the with, they were $9.99 each. Um, but yeah, the juice or the drink was really lovely, so it was like a tropical kind of fake beer. Ta -da. Cheers. Ooh. Oh, beautiful sound. <laughs> These were from Bongo's Cuban Cafe, which is a Cuban restaurant in Disney Springs, which is a really, really nice place, actually. Mm -hmm. um, we went in there, they, they had a live music going, we ended up joining a conga line, and they had dancers, and everything, it was really, really good. And we were going to Cirque du Soleil, so we thought we'd get a little bit drunk beforehand. Which we didn't, actually. I mean, I've heard a lot of people say from the UK that there's more, they feel like there's more alcohol in the cocktails and in the drinks. I wouldn't say that. I don't feel that at all. Maybe we drink too much. Of a jug of mojito to share between us, our picture. Um, but it was cheaper to get the Please. novelty glasses with the drink in it as well than to buy a pitcher. Yes. Um, these are quite big, as you can yeah. see. So these actually were twenty-five dollars each. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you got loads of uh, mojito yeah. in it, as you like can see it. chocker full. Yeah. Um, yeah, really, really good know. drinks. It was really nice drink yeah. terms with those restaurants. And really basically, nice. yeah, our server was really nice. So basically, we obviously had our drinks in a glass like this. And instead of making us have the ones that we dr drunk out yeah, of. Yeah, they took those away, they gave us the yeah. receipt, and then we could go to the shop and then get new ones. Then get a brand new one, which had never been used. So yeah. these have never been drunk out of that. Yeah. This was mine. This was from the Sci Fi Dining Theatre. Restaurant came with either it was called the Meteor and it came with either Sprite or Coke, um, and I believe it might have been refillable. I'm not sure, but it wasn't. Refillable. Again, you got to keep the cup, um, and it came with this glow cube. So you had this. It still smells like lemonade um, in your drink, um, and it came on. So in the dark um, atmosphere of the um, restaurant. This glowed in my lemonade, which is really cool. Flashes different colours. This was seven dollars. Yeah. Um, you can see it glows there, and the cup is actually glow in the dark as well. So the restaurant yeah. itself is very dark because it's a yeah. dining sort of theatre. You've got it's a, a drive-in. It's like a fake drive-in. Yeah, yeah, which is really cool. So it was quite dark anyway. So the cup is glow in the dark, and you've got the glow cube in there. But it glows green, and the glow cube is blue, so it sort of mixes together quite nicely. Um, it's actually a very nice cup, actually. Again, yeah. with it. Uh, Seven dollars. Seven dollars. Yeah. Which is probably quite a lot for just a fizzy drink, but you get the cool cup and the cool. Let's get a bucket. It's got a nice straw. And a really cool straw. Yeah. Um, they did have another one which had a either buzz or your aerial in it, but it wasn't. A clip, like a clip on glow in the dark type. Buzz like a straw or an aerial straw. Yeah. But it wasn't anywhere near as exciting as a glow cube. Yeah. Um, I think this is really cool. I'm probably gonna put this in. Every drink from now. Any on. and every drink. We went on the rock and roller coaster. Rock in and roller Street. coaster. Which was a very, very good ride. <laughs> you love it. Which is very good, one of the best rides at the whole of Disney. Got a Mickey Rocks mug, which is nice and black, very and rock, very rock and roll colour. It's a very it's a very good mug actually. It says rock and roller coaster in the top there, Mickey Rocks there, yeah, Mickey you playing guitar. Show that. Sorry, yeah, you got Mickey playing Les Paul with the, the slasher on actually, which is very similar. This was um twelve ninety five. Yeah. This was my little Prezi, mad as a hatter. <laughs> I've got it from Disney Springs, um, the World of Disney Shop, I think it's called. Yes, that's right. Um, you can buy this cup pretty much everywhere. It's just we had temp, we had temp in off in Disney yes. Springs. This um, was seventeen ninety five. 
With discount or without discount? Uh, that was without the 10% off okay. that Ollie just mentioned, but seventeen ninety five. Yes, because um, a lot of the time when you buy things in Disney World, they give you a 10% voucher which you can use in Disney Springs. On your receipt. On your receipt, yeah. and it works in like three quarters of the shops in yeah. Disney Springs. So look out for that. I think that's a fairly recent thing, um, but look out for that on your so, receipt. Yeah, as you see, Mad as a Hatter, it's nice and green, and it is the Mad Hatter's hat. <laughs> it's top hat. And it's very nice, I quite like this actually, it's one of my favourite. Um, like you, I don't know how much I want to use it because I don't want to spoil it. Um, but it's quite dark, so it wouldn't it necessarily stain dark. like chip might. Yeah, it, if it looks good, it won't stain, it looks like good quality. Mm -hmm. um, they had a lot of different Alice cups there. Like and you're a big Alice in Wonderland fan. I'm a big Alice in Wonderland <laughs> fan, Bad Hat is one of my favourites. Um, we had really good And yeah, this was actually one of my favourite cups. So next we have super cool straws. 69 cents each. Yes, 69 cents each. Or some places did them free with a drink because they're like a novelty straw. We didn't yeah. get it. We didn't. So we got a red one, a blue one, and a green one. Yeah. <clears throat> Which is very nice. I quite like them. They're Mickey Crazy Straws. Got them as a sort of a side gift for my oh. little sister. Yeah. Because they've already got a couple of things on them. And the rest are yeah, awesome. They're all for us. <laughs> I want the red one. The red one's mine. Come on, red. I'll fight for it. Come on then. I'm having the right one. Domestic on camera. <laughs> very, very unbirthday to, to, to you. Right. Alice in Wonderland tea. Wonderland tea. The official unbirthday tea, but it is also authorised for real birthdays, which is good actually. Yeah. It'd be a shame. Nice. I like all, I like the box of it. It's got lots and lots of little um, novelty things on. So, and it's got quotes from the film like, nothing would be what it is because everything would be what it isn't. And contrary wise, what it is, it wouldn't be, and what it wouldn't be, it would. <laughs> well, that sort of thing. And it's got lots of quotes from the film all over the box. Um, so this is the Topsy Turvy blend. Which is, which is $7.99. Uh, $7.99. It's probably sad to say that the box is my favourite part of this tea. <laughs> um, it's quite sad. It's a very, it's a very, <laughs> it's a very nice box as you can see there. Um, we went to Little Japan. The Japanese Pavilion. Yes, the Japanese Pavilion. And they've got one of the biggest shops that I saw in Epcot, yes. actually. It was massive. And, and it it's went called all the way back. Um, Mitsukoshi. We got from there a couple of little Japanese sweets from there, which was quite nice. So um, we got the. What is it? Haichu. So we, I've heard Strawberry really good paper. things about these. Um, so. Looking forward to trying these later. So, let's try them now. Okay, so I got cherry, and for Ollie's and younger sister... This is strawberry, so this is a present. Um, hopefully, uh, lots of the films, posters, and all that yeah. sort of thing. And these were two ninety nine, which is quite a lot for a few sweets, but hopefully they're really nice. It's probably a really awful sound. <laughs> really good, though. I've got some of my favourites again. I think I have a lot of favourites. You have far too many favourites. Um, but these are really like highly sought after in the UK. Mm -hmm. They completely sold out online like the first day they came out, and it's made me more and more desperate to have them. I think when. Um, you just mean Beauty Beast Sum Sums or Sum Sums? Beauty and the Beast Sum Sums. I didn't get the entire collection because I wasn't keen on Belle's dad and. Um, Who are you missing? Philippe? Yes. So, um, Belle's dad and uh, Philippe. I think, uh, I believe are the only two I don't have. So I have everybody else. And I don't actually have any other sum sum, so these are my first. Um, so I've yeah. got um, Belle, Beast, Gaston, Chip, who has a bit of a strange nose, and then Lumiere and Oh, Cochran. you don't have Mrs. Potts either. I thought she looked well, a Mrs. little Potts, bit... Potts, yeah. I thought she looked like an elephant because of her spouse sort of comes out. It's very, it's very Dumbo-esque. But here they are um, individually, so this is Belle. Mm -hmm. Beast who I really do think is my favourite. He's good. He's got a little uh, goatee He's sort of thing. Absolutely beautiful, <laughs> I think. Uh, As always. Gaston's eyebrow like Gaston. is like ridiculous. Mm -hmm. um, Cogsworth is very sweet as well. Nice expression and he's got his um, cog, his I guess. Cog. And that, that his... Um, oh, that's quite... I never saw that before. Underneath pendulum. The pendulum. Yes. Yeah, I didn't actually ever notice that before, but there we go. Just so observant, though. Uh, Lumiere, with his flames, mm. and his little arms, <laughs> and good. then chip. chip, with his really cool nose. Chip. So I'm Which very is, excited to display these. Does Chip have a chip? Uh, chip. Yes, yes, he chip. has a chip! There was supposed to be... 5 dollars each. 5 dollars each, or you could get... 
three for fifteen dollars. Yes. So we got six so. for thirty as opposed to I don't know what would be thirty five, something like that. Yeah. So yeah, so pretty happy that's with how these. You in. Um, some sums are weird. Yeah, these specific ones. Obviously, you have lots of different sum sums in the UK. Yeah. But these specific ones of the Beauty and the Beast collection, you can't get. They're them very so often. cute. Um, I think they did, they did sell them in the UK, but then they sold out really quickly, then you can't get them anymore in the UK. People are selling them for about $20 per sum. £20 sum. Pound per, £20 pounds per yeah. sum sum. That's like $25. Yeah, it's mad. Speaking of sum sums, mm. we'll move on to the next one. Yes. Do -do 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 <laughs> I think we have a beautiful mini sum sum here. Um, I actually got this as a present for my one and a half year old is she my niece? She's your niece. <laughs> She's my niece. His... I'm terrible. Yes, definitely so my, my your sis... sister's daughter is your niece. Yes, um, and yeah. my sister has been a very, very, very good mother. And uh, she knows all about all of the Disney stuff. She came around to us, she saw our little de decorations. She's walking around, she says, this Oh, so Mickey, nice. Minnie. And then, um, curious figure, she saw Belle and she called her Ring Ring. Yeah, we which said... Is, which is amazing. Um, so she's never seen Belle on telly before, and I don't believe she's on Disney Channel or anything like that, that um, our, our niece would watch. Um, but she... Um, I said, oh, look, it, that's Belle. So that's Princess Belle. She went, oh, Ring Ring. Yeah, Princess Ring Ring. Which so I'm so seeing it for myself. She's now Princess Ring Ring, which is yeah. really adorable. But, um, so we are hopeful, because she recognises... Mickey and Minnie, we're hopeful that she will recognise this she's as a, a Minnie. She has a tail. And she's very comfy. She's very comfy, yes. Yeah. yeah, I think these were like maybe designed because they are very pillow shaped. I think these are designed as being just like, like mm. <laughs> surprisingly cheap. I think this one was only $17. Yeah, for, $16.95. Which is uh, quite good actually because a lot of the other normal shaped teddy so if you've got a mini that was an actual like the classic mini, plush. or a mickey that was a mickey shaped mickey yeah. you're talking i know that the, the, something that hasn't been crushed shaped um you're talking sort of between 25 to 30 dollars for something which was nowhere near as comfortable in my opinion these are very very soft yeah, and they're very really nice cool. and yeah yeah it's just the concept of them is still a little bit weird i think they're japanese weren't they yeah i believe so yeah so That's next true. we've got a gift for um my sister, who is not a child, she's in fact 20. Well, she, she's a child at heart. She's in fact 25 years old, but you are never too old for cute teddies. Yes. And um, when we were younger, um, I'm not a huge Hercules fan, but my sister uh, was more, much more than me. Hmm. Um, and I actually did agree with her that Baby Pegasus was adorable, and she used to have a Baby, a baby Pegasus teddy when we were kids yeah. so I couldn't resist getting her this yes um, they have a huge range of um, Disney babies um, they have villains they've got Lady and the Tramp and yeah. so this seems to be part of a new range which they're pushing um, yeah where they seem to be even characters like well Pegasus um within the film or Hercules universe or whatever you have a baby Pegasus when Hercules is a baby mm -hmm. and then obviously you get into a big one but they've seemed to extend it it's the range to every Disney character now has a baby version of them as a sort of a soft plush thing in a blanket. Yeah. So uh, I saw Baby Cheshire Cat, which has got really freaky big baby eyes, and then like you said, you've got all the villains, which are babies, and yeah, every princess. Yeah, Lady in the, the Tram. Yeah. Oh yeah, Lady. Let's not get into. Oh lady. no! It's not, lady, I, lady was so yeah. adorable. It hurt your own. Yeah, ways. some That's of them, some of them were was. literally. They were painful to look at. They were so cute. And if I had all the money and all the space in the world, I would probably have all of them. Yeah. Um. But this. Um. Yeah. I really hope my sister likes. Sure I really she... think she will. These are twenty five ninety nine each, and then I believe they are two for forty. I want to say something like that. Obviously, we something only got like the that. one. But um, yeah, if you, you can see we've done hard research. If you want to get more multiple, then mm. you can. Yes. Yeah, yeah, quite so, a good yeah, we think it's quite nice. And um, they say it's an extra novelty. It's a nice new range. Um, I don't know how long the range will last. They seem to. Or well, how long it's been out. Tada! Uh, this one isn't part of the same baby range though, but it yeah. is just baby Nala. Yeah, um, with a with a wonky head. Little she had neck can't wonky, support it's her just head. Wobbly. She is sixteen ninety five. She's drunk. She is actually for um, my sister's kitten, who is also called Nala. So, and seeing as they didn't have any cat toys, there were a lot of dog toys at Disney. Yeah, world, which was but not confusing. Any cat toys? Maybe cats aren't a huge uh, pet 
phenomenon like they are in the UK. So we thought, as she is called Nala, we bought Nala a Nala. You, we couldn't yeah. not. For and some, she's really soft. Know. Disney plushies are re always really soft. I have been desperate for this since I first saw it come out. Um, well, I guess. Quite a few years ago now. Probably a couple of years ago. Um, mm. Probably, I guess, since the new newest section of Fantasyland was built or being built. Um, so this, yeah. um, it's a nice squishy pillow. Yep. It says "Be Our Guest" on it, obviously from the song in Beauty and the Beast, "Be Our Guest," and it also says yeah. "Taylor's yeah. Oldest Time," um, mm. and it's really nice. Yeah. Really pleased so, with it. Yeah, you saw it in a couple of other people's halls. A couple. Uh, I think Six everybody ten. has. I think everyone gets it actually. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, yeah. Uh, this was uh, twenty seven ninety nine, so not cheap. Um, and they do actually have others in a similar range. So they have one that says "Believe in Magic," which is a nice kind of generic Disney yeah. one. They also have. Um, is there a Peter Pan one? Possibly. Um, I'm not too sure. Yeah, there's a there's a few more. Um, but I think this actually goes yeah, fairly well with our uh, sofa. So yes. fairly yeah, well. Yeah, it blends in quite well. I'm not too sure what we'll actually do if we're either um, for a sofa or maybe bed or. If we ever have a guest room, I think this will go in the guest room. As long as no guests touch it. We are cheating a little bit here because although this wasn't actually something that you bought at Disney, so it doesn't deserve to go in the hall, but yeah. it is related, I it's suppose. It's absolutely relevant. So I got this just before I left. Um, which is actually a working Cogsworth clock. Yeah. Which is really also, cool. my mind was totally blown when I found out that it actually tells time. Yeah. I thought it was just and some... it's got a lovely expression. And it's really well made, I think. So this will sit really nicely um, with my chip. And also along with the next thing. Which is... I'm going to show you. This beauty. So this, if I just... Flick him on. Ooh, he so that might help to be able to see it. Ooh. So he actually flickers, yeah, which actually is flickers. amazing. He's quite heavy, He's not a, huge. A heavy. Um, he's got a really cool expression. Um, they actually give these to you when if you are lucky enough to get reservations to be our guest. I read it. Well, they give it to you um, for about <laughs> ten seconds. Yeah, so you walk, you walk into the castle like um, Belle's dad does. He's even got a kind of effect that he's melting and he's got a really, cool. like I said, a really cool expression. He's not cheap, he's $55, which um, does seem like a lot, but goes in my cold sweat beautifully and my chip. And as a huge Beauty and the Beast fan, I think I could not not get this. Yeah, he, yeah. if any, he is really just to add to the collection. <laughs> Now these are the Build Your Own Lightsaber. We got them from uh, Tatooine Traders, which is in Hollywood Studios. Um, Hollywood Stu Disney, after purchasing the Star Wars franchise, doing incredibly well with it. And they're expanding everything out. Um, they're building a new Star Wars land in Hollywood Studios, which is going to be open in uh, 2017, maybe yeah. a bit later than that. Yeah. Um, but it's very exciting. Uh, they're pushing all the merchandise really hard. And you can build your own lightsabers to whatever specifications you like. Um, so you choose the, the colour of your... I don't even know what it's called. Your Light up bit. The colour of your light of it. I know we're going to get so many Star Wars fanatics <laughs> just like... Um, so you can pick all, all the different elements. So you can pick the buttons, the kind of handle sections, and you can, yeah, like Ollie yeah, said, so make it to... The guard there, you've got the buttons on. What we actually did in this instance was something that the shop assistant recommended, which was very good. Um, if you are buying more than one, you can actually buy it as a... To save money, you can buy it as a double-ended one. Yeah which then comes apart. So as you can see, this is actually a double, which will separate into two, um, which saved us, I think, uh, $10 or something like that. Um, so normally, if I just turn these off, um, so normally these are um, $24.95 for one, um, and then for a double, it's $42.95, so it's only a few dollars. Yeah, but I think but it's every little helps. Worth sort of thing. It. Um, um, and these are really cool. These are really, really cool. cool. You see lots of. Well, I was going to say lots of kids. You see lots of adults running around. And kids. It's all about night time. I'd say more adults actually. Probably more adults. Yeah. <laughs> um, having little lightsaber fights. People use them at night as part of um sort of glow stick sort of thing. You know, usually yeah. during the parades and. Uh, 
um, nighttime spectacular, people, they go around selling little light up things to do at night, people's mm -hmm. way around. People are now just using the lightsabers instead. Yeah. And especially with the um, Star Wars Galactic Spectacular, spectacular. show, mm -hmm. if that's what it's called. Um, lots of people there just have the lightsaber waving it around and it just makes the whole experience amazing. Um, so, yeah. Even if you're not a massive Star Wars fan, it's just fun to have. Yeah, so for me, <laughs> and it's good to commemorate the whole experience. So for me personally, I'm not a massive Star Wars fan, but I am, however, quite a big Hugh McGregor fan. Um, mm. And as uh, I'm guessing most people will know, Hugh McGregor plays Obi Wan Kenobi in um, episodes one, two, and three. Yep. Um, so yeah. I got Obi Wan Kenobi slash Hugh McGregor's mm. handle. <laughs> And then I chose purple because I prefer purple over green, I believe is the colour that he has. So yes. yeah, really and, um, pleased with those. Yeah, and um, mine is actually the Count Dooku design from this bit down to here, actually. Um, oops, it's on. And then as see when it hits here, it then switches to Obi-Wan Kenobi's style, which is a really good thing about being able to get the customisable one. Um, if, I, if we wanted to, I could have had, say, Dooku here, then Yoda here, Kylo and then Ren. Kylo Ren. And then switch to Mace Windu on this part if you really wanted to, really the, the possibilities are endless. <laughs> Next! Monopoly! I didn't know that, because um, they don't sell this in the UK. Unless you're willing to pay about £100. Yeah, it's very expensive bought, um, and they don't actually stock them in the UK. Yeah, um, we actually got it at the World of Disney store yeah. in um, Disney Springs. Mm -hmm. And it was $44.95 or $99.95. Yeah. So these... Oh are basically everywhere in the parks. Every single park, um, pretty much every single shop, um, but I do think they are lovely. These are um, $23.99. Um, so I got the silver ones and also these ones that I'm wearing. So next we've got something I'm really excited about. Again, one, Very excited. one for my sister um, because this film was Definitely one of my favourites when we were growing up, and yep. one for us, and they are Dingle Hoppers. Such a good idea. Yeah. It is an actual Dingle Hopper brush. Yeah. Um, so an actual working brush. Yes. So these are fourteen ninety five. We got Dingle. these in our hotel shop. Yes. Are you done? No. We got these in our hotel shop, um, and they're. Um, I don't think it's too bad a price really for what it is. Fifteen dollars. Yeah. It's not not too bad. Um, no, again, it's just just the concept of it is yeah, just great. Really cool. Imagine it is all earn their salary. They do. Some days, yeah, I think yeah. It's just lovely. Like the details on it. It's got like the Little Mermaid written on it. Um, <laughs> some kind of swirls, and then it's got Dingle Hopper written on it. Yeah, because that's, that's what it is. Yeah. Disney uh, seems to like this joke quite a lot though. Every time you meet Ariel um, or see her, like be it in a parade or something, she's always got a normal fork with her and she's always brushing her hair with her dingle. <laughs> um, when you meet her in a restaurant or something, she'll point it out to you. So yeah, Disney seems to love the running joke of dingle hoppers so much that they've got actual dingle hoppers to buy. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, that was loud. That was beautiful. Um, so yeah, Disney Hollywood Studios. Clapperboard? Clapperboard! Is that what you call it? I think that's what they're called, yeah. I don't know. I don't work in your business. <laughs> uh, but yeah, these are great actually. Um, we saw them in a haul a while ago actually, and we mm. thought we definitely have to get that. Um, it is a chalkboard, so you are able to write yeah. on it. And it's um, twelve ninety nine. Yeah, so what you can do, which we haven't done, but we will get around to doing it eventually, um, under scene, take, direction, everything, you can put the details of your holiday. Yeah. So your holiday is the movie. Mm -hmm. sort of thing. I love how that actually goes. Beautiful. Yeah. That um, makes me jump almost every time. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's really cool. Actually, I've, yeah, uh, this was in a lot of people's halls. But when we got to Hollywood Studios... Um, could not find them anywhere. Couldn't find it anywhere. But we asked a really lovely cast member in one of the shops. And she mentioned that they possibly might be selling them in um, the store at the front of Hollywood Studios, which I believe is called Mickey's of Hollywood, which yeah. is like the biggest shop. Um, in the Hollywood Studios yeah, Park, and they had them there, kind of right at the front. Uh, next section is all the images, you want sort of pictures and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, first one, this is for one of my mates actually, she asked um, me to get her something Maleficent based mm -hmm. from Disney. Um, so I've got uh, this, it's uh, just a little postcard, quite interesting, not too sure if I'm the biggest fan of it. Um, 
but it's a, I think she will appreciate her yeah. postcard. Um, it was only five dollars. Yeah, which isn't. So do not watch this video, my friend. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is really cute, actually, isn't it? I yeah, so it's actually it's actually quite so nice. So maybe she could pop that in a frame and she could do something with it. Yeah. I believe um the haunted mansion of the frontier land where it's located is probably one of the most popular things in the history of Disney World and all the Disney parks. Um, We'd the, never been on it. We'd never been before. on it before. So it was Ollie's first visit to a Disney park ever, mm -hmm. and it was my first as an adult. So I went when I was eight. And although I might have been tall enough to ride the water mansion, like, it just wasn't going to happen. Um, you were a worse child. I was probably a worse. <laughs> Definitely um, a worse, yeah. Obviously, the Haunted Mansion has a lot of hype behind it, and after going on it about five times while we were there, it is completely justified uh -huh. in every way. Um, they have a shop there completely dedicated to it, which I believe is actually reasonably new. It's only a couple of years old. Mm. It's called uh, Memento Mori. From the souvenir shop, you can get little... Um, photos of yourself. What they do is they they take a photo of you and then they turn you into one of the ghouls of the haunted mansion. You become the thousandth ghost, so to speak. Um, you first. Good. So you get it. It starts off as normal you, and then it's sort of a holographic effect. That's where you look at it from the certain light. You turn into the evil ghost. So and this then, is mine. So yeah, you see a whole family's in there again, yeah, and people keep it as a family portrait. Sort of things so that you can just put them all sort of next to each other, or put them next to each other on a frame sort of thing. Um, sad thing was that you could only get one person in each image. I'm not, so I'm sure it's probably to do well with um, how the photo is made into the spooky hologram. And to make you spend more money. I'm and sure. to make you spend more yeah. money. Um, so yeah, it's very very exciting. We're definitely going to frame them and maybe get some more next time. I think going. when we have kids, it'll be really cool if they have. Of course, that's that, yeah. Well. That Especially when they're babies, that'd be really funny. That'd be really funny, yeah, it's a zombie baby. Those in terms of price oh, yeah, they were are $20, $20, per, dollars, $20 yeah. per picture. Yeah. My little sister is very, very Japan mad. Um, she does everything Studio Ghibli being one of her favourite things in the world. Her favourite uh, Her favourite artist. <laughs> and yeah, in in the Japan pavilion, let's say they've got the massive shop, and in there... Mitsukoshi. Mitsukoshi. And in there, they do lots of little uh, prints of the Studio Ghibli yeah. films. Um, obviously with all of the Studio Ghibli released in America or in the West is released under Disney banner. Yeah. So Disney has lots of rights to it. I got her a couple of different images, um, which we're gonna, which you can then frame and then put on the wall and things like that. Um, mm. Large one is a nice bit from my neighbour Totoro. This one's five ninety five, which isn't too bad for quite a big print. Yeah, and it's quite nice. And what I actually quite like is that if you look across the side here, you see all the little dots where it's almost like a film a film reel. That's I think sort of that's, the concept behind it. Yeah, there, yeah, that's really cool. I actually thought that was part of the packaging, but it's no, it, it's kind it's, of it's looks the, like it's, it's the part of the film. So, so um, this next one is from House Moving Castle. Which um, is a nice one. These smaller ones are four twenty five. Yeah. But really cute. So yeah, that's a uh, how in his castle. He's having a little nap there. Then we've got Kiki's delivery service. Really cool film. I like that film. Yeah, that's a cool. One. Uh, and then the last one is probably um. The probably, most famous. I'd say the most famous. Yeah. Maybe uh. Second to turn Spirited right? Away! Spirited Away! It's <laughs> a very good film, that's the scene where she's riding on the ghost train. For people that are quite big fans of um, Studio Ghibli, these are cool, quite cheap presents, so like yeah. five, six dollars isn't too bad really. Um, and they're really cute, especially yeah, if you pop them in a frame once you get home. Yeah. Next. We're very sorry everyone! <laughs> We're sorry. We're not sorry. Um, These are twelve ninety nine, and they are dog toys yep. that look like Mickey Waffles. As we were saying, they have a very, very extensive Disney dog range mm -hmm. throughout all of the Disney parks and all of Disney Springs. They have lots of things from dog outfits to um, scarves, little, little bowls, scarves, bowls, leads, bow ties, leads, all of uh, that. Collars. Everything, yeah. anything, and blankets, everything. beds, everything that you can think of. Yeah, so these are um, for our dog. So yeah. Ollie has a family dog, and I have a family dog. So they don't live with us in our tiny flat, but they um, live with our mums basically. Yeah. But we love them very uh, much. So I they think, had to have some Disney to. Yeah, this was as much as me as for him to be honest, because then I can think. Although he didn't come with me to Disney, he gets to eat the Mickey waffles. Yeah. I guess really to chew on the Mickey nice. Waffles album. So they had lots of different chew toys, but uh, we both thought that the Mickey Waffles was probably. Uh, it's very iconic. And it's quite cute, and what dog wouldn't want to chew on Mickey's Waffles? Of course, anyone who goes to Disney, you usually meet some of the characters, and 
anyone who meets the characters usually gets an autograph book and they get them to sign it um, or gets autographed in some way. We saw a lot of people doing other things apart from autograph books like signing shirts things like that which was quite cool. Yeah and signing um, kind of character dictionaries. And things like yeah. that yeah but um, in the shops they just do a series of different autograph books they do um, very pink princessy ones or like uh, we just got the very standard ones. Um, and we met just about everybody. We met pretty much everyone. Um, for the time of year we went, the queues were very, very, very small. So we've um, got um, Mickey Mouse, who's the man we met first. Yes. So that was talking Minnie Ma the Mickey, Mickey, Mickey Mouse. Yeah, the um, Mickey Mouse. Um, Mad Hatter, yeah. Cinderella. As much as I don't like slandering Disney, these products, as far as the autograph book and the autograph pens, are actually quite shoddy. Um, so very this... shoddy. This is the second pen. As you can see, it is very, very worn and the ink is running out. So this is the second pen that we had to buy. The pen the itself is about six ninety five, which is yeah. a heck of a lot yeah. for a pen. Yeah. And the autograph books are seven ninety five. So I do think, as a lot of people say, if you can stop at a Walmart, maybe on your way to the park um, mm. when you first or just before you first arrive, just buy a decent quality notepad. With, yeah. with Disney um, on it. One thing to bear in mind, of course, um, is that a lot of the fur characters, they have very big hands. Yeah. But some of them, uh, they can't even use the pens at all, no matter like uh, King Louie can use it. Beast. Baymax can't, Beast okay. can't. We've got yeah. something for another one of our nieces. Yes. Um, so she is... Different sister daughter. She is... A di yes. Ollie's other sister's daughter. Yes. Um, we got her this lovely book which I think is adorable. It is adorable. Um, yeah, really, really sweet. This costs $13. Oh, I'm obsessed with this plate! She's I obsessed with everything plate. Beauty and the Beast. This is twelve ninety five, and um, it says, try the grey stuff because they had low, like a, quite a big range of uh, bigger plates, one with Lumiere on and cutlery. Uh, did they have cutlery? Possibly glassware. Again, uh, if we had of, all the money and all, all the, the space. pictures and they had some like real gas on the tank. Yeah, this was like in... Um, um, they did have another plate which I actually really wanted but then we didn't get and it was just a Be Our Guest plate and it was a like maybe like twice the size of this and then the lyrics around the outside of Lumiere was on it and it was like, it was amazing! Yeah, um, But really then we nice. didn't end up getting that one. Um, this... Not enough room. Um, yeah, we got this in Bonjour Village Gifts again in again, Magic Kingdom. Again, we spent half our life in that shop, that's what it seems like. <laughs> But I love this, and we did try the grey stuff, and it was pretty delicious. Toothbrush holder. You're really excited about the toothbrush holder. I am really excited about the toothbrush holder. It's a very good toothbrush holder. Um, simply because we've been looking for a really nice toothbrush holder. Rather for, than a cup. Rather than a cup. Yeah. We, use, we use a cup because we were holding out for a good toothbrush holder, and now we've got it. Yay. It's got a Mickey on it, and it's a toothbrush holder. I'll show you that. Um, this is twelve ninety five, which is probably quite extortionate for a little A little thing, piece of porcelain. But but it's, it's definitely worth it. Now this I was so excited for <laughs> when I first saw it and I think I still am to this day. You're like, oh, a Mickey pepper grinder. And it's an absolute <laughs> essential for anyone. You could be like a three year old who doesn't even know what pepper is and you still need this, this in your life. This is really expensive actually. This was twenty one ninety five. But it was worth every penny. Look, you, if you put a pepper in it and you twist it, I mean, you I twist think... the Mickey head. It's amazing. I mean, I think it's cute, but I don't think I'm quite as crazy about it as you are. It's cute. It's one of my favourite things, for no reason whatsoever. It's it's pretty special, obviously. It did come with a set with the salt grinder, but we didn't yeah. buy the salt grinder because... Um, it was a lot of money to spend It was an, another twenty, yeah, another $22, and mm. uh, I don't think we needed a salt grinder, actually, to be fair, no. whereas uh, this, this made me happy. Yeah. I feel like we do need it now. I feel We're just like gonna we have to it. go back. We're just gonna have to go back and get it. Maybe they do it in Disneyland Paris. Um, we've kept this in the home section as we will be using it as most likely a plant pot from now on. Yeah, although we kill pretty much every we... plant we've ever owned. Uh... We'll say you kill them. I just think I'm all, I'm all nice, gentle. Right, so, <laughs> um, we got the, in case any of you haven't noticed what it is yet, it is the kitchen sink. Um, it's $14.99. $14.99. And you can with get... Ice cream. Oh, yeah. Sorry. So um, with this you get um, forty ninety nine, and it comes with ice cream in it. Um, you can pick any two flavors, and then you get some any topping on it, which is sort of like either caramel or melted toffee, and then you get cream and a cherry on top, and it's all so exciting. We'll insert a picture in somewhere. Bibby bobbly. Um, so say. yeah, we really enjoyed the ice cream in this, and this was from is it the Main Street 
ice cream parlor. Yes. Um, and they also do it in beaches and cream in one of the resorts. Yeah, but that's a slightly levels. different one. It comes in a silver kitchen sink, which is not so much the uh, Mickey Bands. Yeah, one. and it's every single flavor of ice cream they do, which is just sounds horrific, but also really nice. I think that's beautiful. And then oh, this right little dude. Right on, right on. Um, this is for my dad. So, um, as I said before, I went to Disney World when I was eight and with my family and my dad's, I think, favourite park was um, the Animal Kingdom, so I got this little guy for him, yeah, who I think is really lovely. He was five ninety five. he's really heavy actually, for saying how small he is, mm. and he'll be a nice... He looks very well made though, he yeah. doesn't look like a piece of rubbish or anything, he'll he be like nice. a nice bit of decoration yeah. to put on the side. He'll be a nice little ornament for my dad, hopefully. Yeah. yeah. Lovely colour. Really nicely made, and hopefully, will yeah. remind my Gen dad of the great time he had yeah. at Animal Kingdom. Our Christmas selection Yay, now. Christmas! Uh, Christmas! Everyone loves Christmas. Apparently, Disney loves Christmas because in Disney, it's Christmas 365 days a year. <laughs> they have the Quite a few different Christmas shops which are there all year round. They've got one in Disney Springs. One um, in the Germany Pavilion in Epcot. Yep. Which one is, in Magic is more just German Kingdom? stuff. Apparently, Germany invented Christmas, so they're allowed it. <laughs> one in Magic Kingdom. They've got one in Hollywood Studios as well. Yeah, they a do. Christmas shop there. Uh, so there's Christmas shops all over the place. And so we decided to grab a couple of nice Christmas decorations. Um, I, uh, Alice being my favourite, I got an Alice in Wonderland teapot this ornament. This is adorable. And this is so you because he loves tea, he loves Alice. Yeah. And he loves Disney. And it's even got like a bit of holly on the top, yep. which is really sweet. Disney ornaments are not cheap. So no, this was nineteen ninety five, which is quite a lot. So it's 20 quid for a Christmas bauble. Yeah. Sorry, $20 for a Christmas bauble, pardon my English. So don't smash it. And our second one is... The classic Four Parks one. So this is really cute. So we have some little decorations that I believe we got. I got in Primark that are small... Um, just red Mickey heads. This is something else though. This has got this all the four special. parks in it. So it's got um, the Tower of Terror as representing Hollywood Studios. It's got the Epcot ball. It's got the Tree of Life for Animal Kingdom and Cinderella Castle for Magic Kingdom. And then it says Walt Disney World on the front. And so it's all four parks together. And then if you want to just give a little. Yeah. If you want to hold that. That's really pretty, I think. As you can see. This was even more expensive. This was actually twenty four ninety nine. Was it? So next we have, um, I suppose we'll call this the Japanese section. Um, so we've already talked about a couple of the things that we got from <laughs> the Japanese pavilion. We got a couple of different things from there. Um, but one of the things we got Sorry. there, <laughs> which actually served us best throughout the holiday, is a Turner Road fan. It's very well actually, loved now. It's very, very, very very worn, it is falling apart into nothingness, all of it's, it's got wet and it got thing, it's got holes in it there as you can see, but it did start off being very very pretty. And we actually, um, they wrote our names in Japanese. Which you can't really see, yeah they do that Which is somewhere here, um, so I believe that must say Marianne and Ollie. Yes, or so they told us. <laughs> so they told us, it could mean anything. If you speak Japanese please tell us what that means. Please confirm that we have been, <laughs> um, but then but we this, got the end of some cruel really Disney really jokes. Did. Yeah. Um, you feel that? Ooh. Ooh. He's only the fan like, in, in the UK, that's for sure. Yeah, being, being very English, we cannot cope with the weather mm -hmm. at all. Um, it was, I think it was in its constant 30s there, but the humidity as well just hits you like a wall of fire every time you stand outside <laughs> for us. Just like rubbing ice into our face every <laughs> just to try and cool ourselves down. Um, so this was a lifesaver. Yeah. Um, what was it's, it, 795? It was 695. 695. Um, um, but it was, it's, it's very good. It does the job very well. We're not sure what we're going to do with it now because it's kind of broken, but it's so adorable. Yeah. They had loads of these as well. Yeah, Lots it's, from it's different been, Studio Ghibli awards. films. Yeah. Um, but it served us really well. So, yeah, that's where most of the damage for this got incurred, actually. It yeah, stuffing it into lockers, lockers. And it getting wet on a couple of rides. I think it got wet on Splash Mountain. In every time, um, though. But, you see, it still works. Ooh. Yeah, it's never going to run out of batteries, this. No. <laughs> yeah, we did actually have a battery operated fan to begin with, but then that died very, very quickly. It died a death very quickly. I love these. Next, we will go to... Chopsticks. These are my chopsticks. So um, these were four ninety five. Um, again from Mitsukoshi. Um, 
No, I don't want to open them. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> um, but it's so cute. It's a little bear on top. And these are cheating chopsticks. They're cheating so chopsticks. So you don't have to actually know how to eat. Yeah, so even if you're a terrible person who, yeah. who doesn't even want to try new things, then you can still kind <laughs> of use these. But these are so cute. Mm. I love these. They had loads of different colours, loads of quite a few different animals. As yeah, well. loads of different in, animals. Both in China and in Japan in Epcot. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Really happy with these. Yeah, those are very nice. They're very cute actually. Um they say if you if you can't use chopsticks or anything, then those ones they're pretty good actually. Or they're they're meant for children, actually, they're children's yeah. ones. I decided to get some nice normal chopsticks, and um, they're just some um, nice plain black ones, uh, they say they don't, they don't have any design them or anything, they're just the nice cheap ones, but I thought they looked quite nice. Those were 6 pizza. 95 I believe. Yeah. Um, just keep them as a souvenir. They're quite stuff. classic, aren't they? Yeah, they're quite classic. They don't have any... They did have a lot um, more expensive ones with very extravagant designs and very nice cases, but I did want to get a pair of chopsticks, but I didn't want to spend lots of money on getting anything too extravagant, so I just sort of got a nice pair of black ones. Um, but yeah. If you want to splash out, you're able to quite easily. <laughs> Moving on to the next thing. Um, again, another pair of chopsticks. These, these are, again, are so cute. These are again for my little sister. Um, these are panda chopsticks. These were the cheapest. These were three ninety five. Yeah. And they're really cute. They're really, they're really cute. They're really nice. You got the little panda on there. Um, they're just nice little wooden ones, suitable for a little hand. Um, we're really excited actually because I think we're going to try and attempt to make some Japanese food yeah. and we're all going to sit and eat yeah. with our chopsticks and be really cool. Yeah, we'll try and make some sushi with some little... Do you know how successful that will be? We're already set for this one, yeah. kind of. <laughs> right, so um, we've got a couple of different shirts there. Shirts work really well because you can always show it off no matter what you do. Um, so I got this shirt from the Florida Mall actually. It says, Gerald, get off our rock! And this was in the Disney store in the Florida Mall. Yeah. Um, and this, I really love this t-shirt. And this t-shirt got, everyone loved this t-shirt. And they don't sell this in the park. They don't sell it in the parks, even though they should do. So for those of you who are unaware, um, it's a scene from Finding Dory. You, you have the two main seals and they're kicking <laughs> Gerald off. They're mean to Gerald. They're mean to Gerald. And everyone loves Gerald. Yeah. I love Gerald. Um, so it's just an amazing shirt from great an amazing top. scene of the film. Yeah. And such a bargain, yeah, it was uh, $7.99. That's like, like a fiver? Yeah, so like, oh. yeah, like $8. For a Disney t-shirt. A Disney t-shirt is actually quite really good, good quality. Well, yeah. I think so. Yeah, so this is quite good quality. I think it was um, on sale, they were getting rid of stuff or something, but um, yeah, it's a really good shirt. And yeah. I like this. Uh, this shirt got me lots of compliments. I was very happy at the end of the day with it. Yeah. Your beautiful shirt? Yeah, so this is uh, one that represents all the parks. So maybe I'll stand up. Crouch. So it says Walt Disney World, and it's got all the four parks on it. So it's got the Tower of Terror, uh, the castle. Can't quite yes, see yes, the no, Epcot the ball. There. Epcot ball's just here at the side. Yeah. And then what else we got? And then you got the Tree of Life on oh, that yeah. side there. Sorry, I can't quite sort see. Of um, um, there's got Walt this Disney is a World small one. It's actually I'm probably a size like eight to ten that's uk sizes yeah um and it's quite like it's nicely fitted it's not uncomfortable it's i think uh, quite a few english people or british people have said that um american sizes are uh are bigger than british sizes i personally haven't found that this fits really nicely i'm really happy with how it fits mm -hmm. um and, but the only thing is, is some of the glitter comes off quite a lot. Yeah, so be prepared for pixie dust. There is dust glitter everywhere. everywhere. We have glitter all <laughs> over the floor, all over the sofa, all over the bed, all over the cover, all in the bags. There is glitter everywhere. And this was uh, 29 oh, I wake up with sparkly hair now. It's ridiculous. <laughs> this was 29 95 yeah. which is quite a lot, but I'm going to absolutely treasure this. I'm going to just shut up for about 10 minutes as I have <laughs> absolutely nothing to say whatsoever for any of this and none of it interests me. So I'm going to have to lay back. Just gonna relax now, are you? I think I'm just gonna relax. Okay, yeah. so this is this is the girly section basically. I'm not a particularly girly person, but I kind of went girly overload on the holiday in during the holiday, just because. Be a new beast alone. Talk about the makeup. I'm just gonna have a look sit. how scraggy his hair is. Yeah, this is a very he's, old beast. Um, you see, he's still he, slightly warm, but we love him anyway. I think I got him when I was 21, so it's about three years ago. But is that he's it? Looking quite old. I love him though, he's adorable. Anyway, God. um... He's not doing too well so I, went, I went to, um, MAC, and I got the lipstick I'm actually wearing, which lasts quite well compared to other lipsticks I have, hmm. but I normally cheap out on makeup. Um, 
and this is really cute actually it's, so it's like a lip gloss um, so I don't know if you can see the colour there but it's a lip gloss that kind of appears like a lipstick um, and it's in the colour Ruby Woo I never understand why makeup companies and um, they watch come up with things. really silly names but Ruby Woo, what is Woo? I don't know but this was $16 and yes. it's MAC and it's yeah, I'm really pleased with it. It's very nice. Good. Um, and also I got the eyeliner that I'm wearing that lasts really well. Um, it's the liquid eyeliner. Um, I'm not sure if it's got a colour. But it says C26. I'm not sure if that's the colour or the shade, but it's just really black. So this is what the box looks like. And then um, I'll show you what the actual bottle looks like. Um, this was $21. So again, a lot more than I would normally pay for. Where did you get that? Did you get that from Disney Springs or was from, that the one you got from the Florida Mall? This was, the Mac shop I went to, we went to, was in the Florida Mall. But I believe they have one in Disney Springs as well. I do hear you say quite a lot and I've heard from other people as well is makeup in the UK is severely lacking. Like I think, we, well everyone always says Sephora and Mac are the very good companies which last forever on your face. And they just don't have them in the UK. Yeah. They have them everywhere else, not yeah. in the UK. Um, they have some of the brands that Sephora do in the UK, but they don't have a Sephora shop. Hi Beast! Hello! <laughs> ah. Hey! Don't you hurt him, yeah? Right. Um, Are you done yet? No. Oh, women. Then we went to Sephora at Disney Ooh. Springs, and I'm so excited to go to Sephora. Um, we got some face masks. I'm sure Ollie's going to have one of these. So there's either the pearl face mask pity, pity. or the rose face mask. I think the rose is Never true. used a face mask before. Um, ever. So, I'm quite Did you not even do the thing when you were younger, like your sister just sat there and smeared butter and cucumber on your face? No, never. You didn't have a child. So yet. I'm excited to use these. These were $6 each. Not sure if that's good for a face mask. I don't really know. I'd imagine they'd be about a pound each, but hopefully these it are depends good. depends on the quality. If you've ever used these, Please let me know if they're any good. <laughs> well, hopefully we'll know by the end of this video. Um, but if, yeah, I'm excited to use those. And then I've got the They're Real Mascara from Benefit. We have Benefit in the UK, but this was a little bit cheaper than it would be in the UK. So this was $24. Um, I'm really excited to use this. So I tested this out in the shop mm. and I was really pleased with it. So I'm excited to use this when my current mascara runs out. Good. Um, and then I got a couple of lipsticks. So this uh, is Urban Decay. I got a purple one. So this is in Pandemonium. These were Pandemonium. were $17 each. Yeah. So I got this and another colour. If you'd like to open that for me, please. So you can see why she keeps me around. Um, the other colour I got was Ravenswood which is a kind of paler colour. So this is like really subtle. So this would be good if, um, I don't know, if you were going for a lunch meeting and you were eating and you wanted, can you not throw my lips at me? <laughs> and you wanted to make sure it wasn't smudging but you still wanted to have a bit of a different colour on your lips. So this is what they look like. Um, fanciest makeup I've ever owned. Mm, so I'm good. really excited to use this. So this is what they look like. They look really pretty. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I really like the purple you and the other fancy one. Fancy So... Yeah, excited. I think I'm really fancy stuff on for me. Hello. Mhm. Mm <laughs> we have a couple more shirts. Um, I say I'm the one who buys all the shirts. Apparently. All these tops are band t-shirts. Yeah. Um, but yeah, my clothes are split into two things: either <laughs> Disney shirts or metal band shirts. Yeah, but you're completely into the Disney shirts now. Yes. Uh, one thing I do like, um, especially in the UK, there is a complete lack of men's Disney shirts. Yeah. Um, until or very women's, recently. apart from, not what, in the Disney store? Yeah, yeah. yeah. In the UK, Disney is reserved entirely for children. Um, well, in, in, terms, of it. in terms of merchandise that you could buy in the shops yeah. and online. Um, I managed not to go, good. Not good, Disney. Not good. Um, but they've started to extend it out a little bit, so see. But obviously, when we got to Disney World, and just went in and there was men's shirts everywhere and I'm like, I've never seen so many men's shirts. So I grabbed a couple and the first one, I got this on my first day there actually. Yeah, in our 
in the ink and paint shop in our yep. resort. So it's a nice Grum t-shirt. They seem to be pushing Grumpy quite a lot at the moment. So they seem to pick a char character who they're sort of imagineers are quite liking at the moment. So they're like, oh yeah, we'll sort of push him a little bit and then they'll <laughs> pump out loads of merchandise for that particular character before moving on to someone else. Um, and this star of the month or celeb of the month seems to be uh, Man of the moment. Man, Man of the, the moment. moment is Grumpy. Says, I'm not grumpy, I'm just surrounded by people who are too happy. This, um, we're not 100% sure on the price, but it was between like 22 to 24 dollars. Yeah, yeah, it's around, uh, that's all sort of around. Uh, yeah, all the shirts seem from the Disney The men's park. shirts. Yeah, anyway. all the shirts from the Disney resorts tend to be between 20 and 25 dollars. Mm. That's sort of the average for them. So if you're in the market for a shirt, that's usually what you'd be paying for them. Mm. Um, Another shirt which I got, which I had my eye on since before we even left the country. Love this top! Um, I Love this top. We went to see Aladdin in... Um, we won the Aladdin lottery! Yes, it was amazing. Go and see it if you haven't seen it. We love Eugenie. <laughs> um, he's amazing. Um, and yeah, we met someone who had this top. Um, so we sort of said to him, where did you get it? And he said he got it from Disney. So Disney and Paris, he said. So they yeah. sell it in all of the parks, actually. Seems so all the resorts. Um, and it's got a genie on it. It says... Hey baby, I'm here. What are your other two wishes? <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Sort of thing. This is a great top. And so it's great, nice. it's very sassy, um, and yeah, I think it's I think it works quite well. Again, um, it feels nice quality. Yes. Yeah. I really wanted to wear it when I met the genie, but um, we only met him on Halloween and I was dressed up as Gaston then, so I didn't get that opportunity. Um, um again in terms of price, this was between twenty two and twenty four dollars. Um so sure. we got these for ourselves and also it was something that my mum really wanted for dog walking <laughs> um, <laughs> so and it, the world. it's um, the ponchos so the these are the yeah. Disney Parks ponchos so when we go to Disneyland Paris I'm sure we'll be wearing these with pride when it's absolutely pouring down um, and these are really cute but it's got Mickey on it and Castle yeah, and it's got all the out. names of the different or all the locations of all the different parks so you can wear it with pride whichever park you're in. Yeah. And um, because it's it's obviously really warm in Florida, you don't need a jacket really or a coat. No. But, but this it is really good over the top of your shorts. Occasionally switch to torrential rain. Yeah. So this is needed if you want to not look like a drowned rat for the rest of the holiday. These are nine thirty nine each. Again, plus tax. Yeah. Which um, sounds actually quite expensive, but they do do the job, um, and they seem like they will last quite a while. Yeah. So, and the last thing you want is to cheap out on a poncho and then suddenly it rips and then you get absolutely soaked. Yeah, that's not what you want. You and don't then want all of your new Disney shirts get ruined! 